In this video, I will show you the green style burrito roll for the Arcadia bodysuit. This method will be used in options C, E, and I. These are the Arcadia versions with tank. What you'll see in front of you is actually the green style sky tank. So the panty or the pant leg pieces will be missing from the image in front of you, but don't be alarmed. The steps are exactly the same. So follow along with me and you will be good to go. At this point, you will have the mane and the lining attached at the neckline. Yours will have either the pant attached to the back end like this, or the panty attached to both ends like this. In order to get to the fun part, the burrito roll, we're gonna take these pieces and turn them right side out. And the way you do that is take the shelf bra and push the whole thing through that neck opening, shake it all out, and you have everything with right sides out now. And you can see that nicely finished neck opening. Now what we use the burrito roll method for is to finish off these two arm openings. Right now the two pieces are laying with wrong sides together. In order to get them right sides together, we need to roll up half of the shirt just like so. And we're gonna start at the bottom and roll up toward the arm side on the top. Now we're gonna take the shelf bra piece, which is currently laying with right sides down on the table, and we're going to bring it around and under so that it's right sides facing up, just like the main outer pieces are laying with right sides facing up. Now we have both the main and the shelf bra laying with right sides facing up, and we're simply going to flip that shelf bra so that the arm openings are now right sides together and we're gonna pin all along that curved arm opening. Make sure to align the two pieces at the shoulder seams. Stitch this curved seam from here just to there with a stretch stitch or serger in a 3 8 inch seam allowance and add some clear elastic to that seam if you'd like. Just make sure to add it to the main fabric side of the seam. But again, that is optional only if you need some additional stability and support on that arm opening. And here's that arm opening all stitched up and with elastic already attached. Now we're ready to move on to the other arm opening. Reach in between the main and lining pieces of the back pieces and grab the strap and start pulling the front bodice and the front shelf bra through that strap. It's mainly important to pull from the back and pull the front through if you're doing options C and E because those are the options with the pants and you don't wanna pull those legs through the strap if you don't have to. And now you can see and admire your beautiful finished edge using the burrito roll method. Now we're ready to move on to the other arm opening. Lay everything out nicely on your table once again with the unfinished arm opening away from you. Finishing the second arm opening is exactly the same as finishing the first. So roll up the shirt toward the opening, and then you're going to take the shelf bra and flip it under to the front. So now both are right sides facing up. up that roll if you need to and then you're going to flip the arm opening of the shelf bra over and on top of the arm opening of the main so now we have right sides together of both arm openings again align the corners and align the shoulder seam and pin that entire arm opening
stitch with a stretch stitch or serger in a 3 8 inch seam allowance and you can again add clear elastic if you'd like. Once again, reach in between those back pieces in order to grab the strap and pull everything through. Once you've got it pulled through, you'll now have completely finished neck opening and arm side openings. And that's it, you have completed your burrito roll.